Okay, well, I, I tried another one of these wind-up uh, 3D printed uh, toy cars that uh, you can find it on Thingiverse and then uh, print it up. And uh, I did it really as a learning project uh, for this 3D printing and, and because it was kind of cute. It looks like a car. And uh, this was the second one. This is as Greg Zumwalt's car that was highly successful. It worked really, really good. And... Um, was a great project and that worked great this one's a total failure and uh, granddad did this one here and he did uh, six different videos on this and finally got his to work really really well uh, with the help of people on YouTube and trying this and trying that he got his to work really really good and I worked a couple of days on this and I'm just gonna shelf mine it's a nice little toy uh, kind of an art looking piece and uh, did not work um, I mean, it really didn't work, and there's a number of reasons why. I'll give a link to Dan, Granddad's uh, video, and then um, the uh, files on Thingiverse, uh, I'll give a link to that. But the uh, uh, one of the problems is the spring. And the uh, spring, uh, the way it's printed up, has a starting point right here where it breaks. And... Um, I went ahead and uh, used that method of printing up another spring um, without having it to start at the same spot every time. And that worked really good, but it's still not enough force to make this thing work. So uh, this was a good learning experience, total failure, but uh, good learning experience right there. And this is, uh, like I say, the first one I did, Greg Zumwalt, Greg Zumwalt's, that was very, very successful, worked really, really good. But um, anyway, I just wanted to post this mainly for Granddad to show that uh, I did replicate that little car. Now, this is the, the plastic supposed to look like brass, but it really doesn't. But it's kind of colorful. Um, I've got this wound up here, and sometimes I can get this to spin here if I start it upside down like a dead bug car. And it's not even going to do that, but you can see it kind of spins up, but not very well. And that spring is wound up tight. And it, it's just one of these things that uh, um, the clearances on the gears and the um, elephant foot that happens when you try to print this up with your settings not quite right, it just doesn't, uh, doesn't work right. I even printed up another set of gears and couldn't get it to go right but uh, anyway that's what I've been up to I've been up to one of these other 3d printed cars thanks for watching